You have probably never thought of serpents as anything more than ancient Apple product endorsers, but in the Bible, they're much more. They're cunning characters with a reputation. Often seen as symbols of deceit, temptation and sin, these slithering creatures play pivotal roles in biblical narratives, both in Genesis and Revelation. What if I told you that the serpent in Genesis might not have been a serpent at all? Everything we thought we knew about Adam and Eve's story could be up for a big reassessment. Get ready for a surprising twist because the reality might be more captivating than you ever guessed. The well-known tale of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden is a key story in the Bible. At its heart is a clever serpent who convinces Eve to eat the forbidden fruit, leading to humanity's fall from grace. But is there more to their story? Traditionally, we've seen this serpent as a literal snake, a symbol of deceit and temptation. But what if we've misunderstood this character all this time? In this exploration, we'll dive into the original Hebrew text of Genesis to reveal a hidden truth that challenges our usual understanding. By the end, you'll see the story from a fresh perspective, armed with insights that could change how we interpret this ancient text. The book of Genesis, the Bible's first book, is fundamental to both Judaism and Christianity. Often credited to Moses, it contains tales that have influenced religious beliefs for ages. The story of Adam and Eve in Eden is especially important, tackling themes of innocence, temptation, and the human experience. Grasping the true essence of the characters in this narrative is key to fully grasping its message. To truly grasp the essence of the serpent in Genesis, we need to dive into the original Hebrew text. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 1, the serpent is introduced using the Hebrew term Nahash. While most English versions translate this as serpent or snake, the Hebrew language is rich with subtleties. Nahash carries more than just a simple meaning, it can also signify a diviner or an enchanter in certain contexts. This versatility in translation opens up the possibility of a different interpretation for the identity of the serpent. Rather than a typical snake, Nahash could suggest a being with supernatural wisdom or abilities. For centuries, scholars have pondered over the true nature of the serpent. Some view Nahash as a metaphor, symbolizing chaos or a rebellious divine entity. Others propose that the serpent wasn't a literal snake but a symbolic figure, perhaps a fallen angel or a manifestation of evil. One intriguing viewpoint portrays the serpent as a divine challenger, akin to Prometheus from Greek mythology, who disrupts the status quo and brings knowledge to humanity. This perspective paints the serpent not just as a trickster, but as a multifaceted character playing the roles of both tempter and enlightener. Let's delve into some of the alternative personas of the serpent, considering the broader implications of the term Nahash. Number 1. Divine Being Some scholars suggest that the serpent in Genesis could have been a divine being, perhaps a minor god or a demigod. This idea resonates with ancient Near Eastern beliefs, where serpents were often linked to wisdom and eternal life. In various mythologies, Serpents symbolize strength, wisdom, and sometimes even kindness. For example, in ancient Mesopotamian lore, Nina Zhu, a deity associated with plants and the underworld, was sometimes depicted as a serpent or with serpent-like traits. Likewise, in Egyptian mythology, the cobra represented the goddess Wajit, symbolizing protection and royal authority. These cultural backgrounds indicate that serpents were not just symbols of deceit, but were also respected for their perceived wisdom and influence. Viewing the serpent in Genesis as a divine entity allows us to see it as a figure possessing deep wisdom and a special connection to the divine. This perspective implies that when the serpent tempted Eve, it wasn't just about deceit, but a complex exchange involving divine insight and human choice. Number two, symbol of chaos. In many ancient societies, serpents were symbols of disorder and confusion. The serpent in Genesis might symbolize disruptive forces that challenge divine harmony and test human obedience. 
This interpretation is supported by the serpent's role in persuading Adam and Eve to disobey God, disrupting their peaceful life in the Garden of Eden. In ancient tales, serpents are often linked to representing the primal disorder of the universe. For instance, in Babylonian stories, Tiamat, a chaos beast depicted as a serpent or dragon, embodies the chaotic energies that the god Marduk battles to establish the world. Similarly, in Norse lore, Jormungandr, the massive sea serpent, poses a threat to the world's harmony. Translating this idea to the Genesis story, the serpent becomes a symbol of chaos, challenging the boundaries of human obedience and divine structure. This perspective underscores the eternal struggle between order and turmoil, a common motif in creation myths. The serpent's role in Genesis can be seen as part of a grand cosmic clash, highlighting the perpetual conflict between stability and disorder in human existence, a symbolic entity. Number 3. Metaphorical figure. Another perspective suggests that the serpent serves as a symbolic figure, embodying the internal battle between following God's commands and the temptation to acquire forbidden knowledge. This viewpoint highlights the ethical and philosophical aspects of the narrative, proposing that the serpent symbolizes humanity's innate drive to seek wisdom and question divine limits. Seen in this light, the serpent represents human curiosity and the yearning for independence. Eating the forbidden fruit isn't merely an act of defiance, but a profound commentary on human nature and the pursuit of enlightenment. Consequently, the serpent symbolizes the internal conflict everyone encounters, the decision between sticking to established norms and delving into the unfamiliar. This metaphorical analysis resonates with a range of philosophical and literary traditions exploring the theme of forbidden wisdom. For example, in John Milton's Paradise Lost, the serpent Satan entices Eve by appealing to her thirst for knowledge and freedom. Similarly, the tale of Prometheus in Greek mythology, who challenges the gods to bestow fire upon humanity, reflects themes of rebellion and illumination. Viewing the serpent as more than a literal reptile enriches our understanding of the Genesis narrative. If the serpent embodies a divine rebel or chaos symbol, the story gains a deeper, more intricate significance. It evolves into a narrative of divine human dynamics, the pursuit of knowledge, and the clash between order and disorder. Looking at the Adam and Eve tale in the Garden of Eden through this fresh lens, we can shift our perception of the serpent from a mere deceiver to a catalyst propelling humanity towards knowledge and self-awareness. When Adam and Eve consume the forbidden fruit, it signifies a crucial moment in human history, a shift from innocence to enlightenment, from unquestioning obedience to deliberate choice. This reinterpretation carries significant theological implications. It challenges the conventional portrayal of the serpent as inherently wicked and prompts us to contemplate a more nuanced characterization. It also prompts us to ponder the essence of temptation and the involvement of divine entities in human destinies. Was the serpent's enticement a necessary component of God's design for human progress? Was the pursuit of knowledge an unavoidable and vital phase in our development? For contemporary readers and believers, this fresh perspective on the serpent can enhance their faith and deepen their understanding of biblical narratives. It urges us to approach the Bible with openness, acknowledging the intricate layers and richness of its tales. Moreover, it underscores the significance of delving into the original languages and cultural backgrounds to fully grasp the profound meanings woven into these ancient scriptures. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 Introduction of the Serpent Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say, You shall not eat of any tree in the garden? In this verse, the term crafty in Hebrew suggests intelligence and cleverness. If we think of Nahash as a divine or semi-divine being, this intelligence could indicate a deeper grasp of divine matters, portraying the serpent as a wise figure rather than a mere trickster. 
Genesis chapter 3 verses 4 to 5. The serpent's temptation. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Here, the serpent's offer of enlightenment resonates with the idea of a divine rebel imparting knowledge to humanity. This passage can be interpreted as the serpent urging the pursuit of wisdom and self-awareness, challenging the established divine structure for human advancement. In Greek mythology, Prometheus, a titan, defied Zeus by stealing fire and sharing it with humans. This act of defiance brought knowledge and progress to people, though Prometheus faced harsh consequences. The parallels between Prometheus and the serpent in Genesis underscore a common theme in myths, the struggle between divine rule and human aspiration for enlightenment. Enki, the Sumerian god associated with wisdom, water, and creation, often went against the dictates of higher deities to aid humanity. In certain myths, Enki offered forbidden knowledge or resources to humans, contributing to their development. Similarly, the serpent in Genesis can be seen as a figure fostering human advancement through the acquisition of forbidden wisdom. This fresh perspective on the serpent encourages believers to approach biblical texts with a critical eye. Delving into the historical, linguistic, and cultural backdrops of these ancient writings can unveil deeper understandings and more intricate interpretations, nurturing a more informed and enriched faith journey. Acknowledging the multidimensional aspects of biblical figures and narratives opens the door to a fuller and more profound interaction with the text. Viewing the serpent as both a tempter and an enlightener enriches the narrative of Adam and Eve, prompting contemplation on the complexities of human behavior and the pursuit of wisdom. The serpent's tale in Genesis serves as just one illustration of how a deeper investigation can unearth profound revelations and reshape our viewpoints. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope this video has been insightful and encouraging. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who have similar interests. Also, leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and any other biblical topics you'd like us to explore in future videos. Until next time, may the hope of resurrection and the assurance of God's power over death bring you comfort and strength. God bless you.